Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. We are looking at Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10 today. And our focus today is there is power in the name. There is power in the name. Not, not our name, although our names can mean quite a bit. There's power in the name of God Almighty. There's power in the name of Jesus. Listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run into it and are safe. The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. Now, fortified tower doesn't say a lot to us today, but in the ancient world, it was a sense of fortification of a city, of a place that they lived. It was safety. It was security. And the idea is that the name of God is like that. Now, it's interesting. In the Old Testament, the name Jehovah was considered so holy, and Jehovah simply means God. It was so holy that they wouldn't punctuate it. Back then, they didn't have... You know, uh, they had different kinds, there wasn't commas and periods, it was dots over the letters. They wouldn't punctuate it, and most people wouldn't even pronounce the name Jehovah. It was so holy to them. That's how, they, how, how seriously they took names in the ancient world. The name Jesus is said to be the name above every name. There is power in the name of God because there is power in our God. And there's power in the name of Jesus because He is our God. And so I want to encourage you today to speak the name of Jesus. When you pray, pray in his name. That doesn't mean you tag on his name at the end as a little kind of a, oh, in the name of Jesus. It means that when you pray, you say, would Jesus pray this? Does this prayer honor Jesus? And when you pray in his name, declare in the name of Jesus. If you encounter spiritual battles, speak the name of Jesus. My wife Sherry taught our boys when they were little, when they were afraid, to say the name of Jesus, to say it again and again and again, to think of who he was and how much he loved them. And in the declaring of that name, there was power. The name of the Lord is like a fortified tower. We run to him. We run to our God. We live under his name and live in his name. Jesus, this is our prayer, that in your name, we would experience your presence and your power and see it unleashed in our lives. Jesus, your name, is good and beautiful and powerful. So we pray this prayer in your beautiful name. Amen. Blessings on you. Have a great week.